So guys, um, so I'm gonna do a video on binary search today, and binary search is much better, much more efficient than linear search is, and it works much faster. They both give you the output, but binary search is much faster than linear search is. It happens in a lot less time. So how does binary search work? One of the constraints for binary search, and this is I guess an advantage that linear search has, is that for binary search the array must be sorted, otherwise it will not work. And linear search can be done on an unsorted array because essentially you go through every element in linear search but in binary search you cut that down that's why it's so fast it's so quick so let's say you have an array 2 4 6 8 10 12 so here you have six elements so what you do is first you look at the middle element right the middle element in this case or let's let's say we we take a shorter array for the purpose of this example now the middle element will be the sum of the minimum and the maximum minimum in this case is 2 and maximum out here is 10 but it will be actually the position of the minimum element will be the 0th position plus the 0 1 2 3 4 10 is 4 remember that that's important because arrays as you know are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. Arrays are numbered starting from 0, not from 1. So, 0 plus 4 will give you 2. So, this is the middle element as of now. Now, this middle element, now, and let's say you want to search for, um, you are searching for, let's say you are searching for 4. So, this middle element 6, it will check whether the element you are searching for is equal to this middle element. Now, if it's not equal, 4 is obviously not equal to 6 since it's not equal to 6 what it will do is you know that the array is in sorted order it will check whether 4 is less than 6 or 4 is greater than 6 if 4 is less than 6 we know this what will it do that means 4 appears on this on the left side of the array so since 4 appears on the left side of the array I mean 4 appears on this side of the array what it's going to do is, you can obviously disregard these two elements because obviously 4 won't be anywhere here, 4 will be on the other side. So these elements can be discarded. So what it does is, it sets the middle position. To be, I'm sorry, not middle. It sets the maximum position to be middle minus 1 why does it do this because obviously it's not equal to this and it's not here so the maximum position then would be this one and the minimum position remains the same which is at 0 so you don't need to reassign that but you know it remains the same now when it checks it does the same check again 0 plus 2 will give you 1 and 1 divided by 2 will give you i'm sorry 0 plus 2 will give you 2 my bad i don't know what's happening to me i have a computer exam tomorrow so i'm really sorry if i'm a little tense so 0 plus 2 will give you 2 2 divided by 2 will give you 1 and now it will check whether 4 is equal to equal to 4 and it will return true and there your binary search is done now this was one example let's take another example same array 2 4 6 8 10 this time we're searching for 10 now if you notice this example it took about what two steps to do this first it checked whether it's equal to 6 then it checked whether it's equal to 4 two steps had you done this with linear search, it would have taken two steps, right? Because first it would check with two and then with four and it would have given you the output. So you're not seeing the, the advantage. Obviously, at this point of time, you're not able to see why binary search is more efficient. Now look at this. The middle will obviously be six. Now, when six, let's say you're searching for 10. So six is not equal to 10. Now, you can disregard this whole part of the array, right? 
because it's useless because 10 is obviously on this side because 10 is greater than 6 so 10 is greater than 6 so when what you're searching for is greater than your middle what do you do you can disregard the rest so your minimum becomes middle plus 1 because this is also obviously not included now once this becomes your minimum your maximum remains at 10 maximum is still the same since your minimum is middle plus 1 when you when you try to find out whether the minimum I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry my sorry when you try to find whether the uh, position is so this would be 0 1 2 3 4 so your minimum is now mid plus 1 which is 3 and your maximum is 4 now it would add 3 plus 4 by 2 would give you 3.5 3.5 would round off to 4 it would check whether 10 is equal to equal to 10 and that would give you true now binary search took 2 steps had you used a linear search you would have gone through 1, 2, 3, 4 4 comparisons so I am hoping this could give you an idea as to which one is faster so I hope you guys understood this video I will make another one about binary search because I think I haven't been able to explain it as well as I wanted to so I will do another video explaining this going into maybe more examples so maybe a code video so which would be better so till then guys um, see you have a good day good luck with all your exams I have mine going on right now I have physics and computer tomorrow and I hope your preparation is going good see you guys